Hi, this is Leah Clark, and you are watching Craig's Corners videos. If you have ever been on my channel, I go out for two things. Conventions and getting packages from stuff I ordered online a couple days ago. Hello everyone, my name is Craig and I'm at the Seattle Convention Center Summit. So this is day one of everything. We're just going to get our badges and everything else and just uh, head on back. There's pretty much nothing really to do today as of right now. So it's just going to be a quick go to Seattle and then go back home and get everything ready for tomorrow. Uh, I guess I'll see you later or maybe inside. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take you inside. It's not like you have any choice. <laughs> this is my diary entry for SoccerCon 2024. It's currently near 11.30. The place opens at 12, so here I am. Chilling in the breeze, typing this all out. Right now, it's currently 11.30. Pass. I wonder if that's going to be copyrighted. Building smell. Ugh. Wow. That is a very. Hmm. I wonder how far I can go. Wow. No one over there. No one over here. This is why you should always go early. Even if it's a bit too early, but you'll never know. Wow, you can't see it, but it's, Woo. wow, there is a lot of people coming in, good thing I was early. I think the info booth is over there, it's time to get some stuff out of the way first. Let's see what room we got. Huh. It's as if nothing changed. Oh, uh, besides that, I guess it's a lot more of a roomier space. Not bad, not bad. Kind of a, sort of a bigger upgrade. Just a more wide advanced room that is. Hello everyone, this is day one of Craig Goes to SakuraCon. And uh, looking at the window down here, yeah, SakuraCon is nowhere to be seen. Not the summit, not the arch. Uh, looks like we just got our regular cityscapes, but... I mean, we could just head on down there. Right now it's 9.57, just a couple more minutes until 10. We should probably uh, head down there now. So I'll see you there. Oh, not a lot of people here today. Huh, I've always wanted to visit the opening ceremony, but I never really do. It's always the closing ceremonies I see. Oh, well. oh, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, this is the first time for everything, I guess. Is this starting?
I just checked into my hotel room and got some attire change, swapped my backpack for an eco tote bag, and headed towards the opening ceremony. I never really cared for the opening and skipped to the good part, but the more I'm sure, I should give the show a watch. There were a few people I wanted to meet. One of them was Howard Wing, who even got to sign a little postcard that I got. But one person I was really interested is Leah Clark. What's the point of coming to a convention if you're not going to have fun? Now, as we mentioned earlier, we have a little tradition we do around here, and that, for those who don't know, is the bonsai cheer. How it works, we're going to count down from three in Japanese. When we hit one, everyone that can hear our voice right now is going to scream bonsai three times, as loud and as with, and with much soccer gun spirit as you can. But first, we're going to practice. The goal, if we can do it, is to be louder than our chair. As you saw earlier, he was uh, quite prolific, so we'll see what we can do here. Okay! One moment, this is practice. That's a good practice, that's a good practice. Okay, that was good. Now let's do the real deal. You, you only get this one chance, so let's really hear it. Soccer Con 2024. Thank you very much. Wow. Oh, I'm in the way. Yeah. <laughs> 
so many people this year. Not sure if it'll be last year, but let's see where we can go. And here we are, live at... Wait, what? Oh, oh, thank you. Just gotta get something combed out. Right here is the artist alley. Let me move out of the way. And here it's uh, art stuff. Just um, art, art, uh, art gallery. Look, look, they're, they're really good, okay? Whoa. Let's take a view. I was going to get a bit more footage in the art gallery, but not only I wanted to respect some of the artists' privacy, but there were a lot of people wanting to take photos of my chaperone. They are quite the... Uh... Ooh, what's the word that you call them? Photogenic? It is currently 11.30 here. I managed to get uh, my human chaperone here. Uh, can you wave? Oh, that's right. Uh, we don't have a tripod. So they managed to get a lot of photos taken of them. That, that, that's pretty cool, I guess. So we're just going to be strolling around a little bit. It's kind of getting a little hot in here, so we might as well step outside and see what we can get. Okay, let's do it again. One, two, three. <laughs> Okay, let's take a turn and see what we got here in the... Ooh, pink lights. You don't see pink lights here. I, I think these are new this year. Must be a smoke room. I don't like smoke. Makes me cough a lot. Especially vaping. Promise not to smoke near me. Will you? Good. I like you. No homo. And here is the arcade. If the camera will ever get up. So uh, when it comes to arcades, I guess... Um, I'm going to have to be honest with you. When it comes to arcades and depending on them... Yeah, I win. Yeah, I definitely win. Unless it's air hockey. Look at these stubs. Look at these stubs. You really think I could beat you in air hockey? Please be honest. Yo, it's the Daytona thing! I've always wanted to play that game. Come on, let's go! Well, it's official. I suck at driving. Hello again. It seems that we- Oh, uh, uh oh. <laughs> Wardrobe malfunction. Is it fully the way? All the way? Okay. <sighs> Alright everyone, it's currently 12.30. I think it's 12.30. Uh, as a recording, we are at the summit, more notably the fourth floor. And we're supposed to get lunch and take a break because my human chaperone here has been completely sweating. Look, I told you you shouldn't go out like that. Well, anyways, um, over there, right there, 420, you can't see it. Let me go back. 420, right there. We're supposed to be heading off over there at 330. What's going on over there? Well, you're just gonna have to stick around and find out. We are now currently live at the... Uh, I forgot what this is called. But it's like the merch gallery. You can see some really awesome people here. Wigs, blushes. Um, pretty much stuff that you can buy here. Remember, when it comes to convention centers, never leave empty-handed. It's a sin. Big sin. Come on, let's go see some. Thanks for the save. I can't believe it's her. Oh. She's not there. 
Hey everyone, I'm here at Pink Gorilla and for some reason I met Long Boy. Long Boys. Long Boys. Oh dear God. There's a lot of Long Boys. I mean, if he is gone and something happens, I could always buy a replacement. Let's see, how much does it cost? Come on. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste 22 bucks. But maybe I can. Hello everyone. It's 4.30. Kinda sort of 4.30 right now. And we just got back from Cosplay Chess Meetup. That's right. I'm actually a part of it. Well, not really me, my uh, human chaperone. And of course, because my human chaperone's playing is... Grape Coon will also be joining along. In fact, he's here right now. Say hi. So, uh, are you excited for tomorrow? You don't say a lot of words, do you? I know, it was a lot to take in. It was, uh, very loud, wasn't it? I know, it was also very loud as well. I actually got a headache after... Well, I mean, it was a pretty big, echoey, boomy room, so I couldn't handle it. And neither did you. So, uh, the Choice Cuts Tournament, what do you think about it? What do you, uh, what do you think about Bonaparte? Wow, Esteban was right. You really are, uh, you're a penguin of a thousand words, I guess. Yeah, I think I should probably get dinner. Now let's see what to eat. Uh, I think I have a uramaki. That'd be a good dinner. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what else is good. No way. No way they got it. Stand power. Alrighty then. I'm gonna head back to the hotel room. I always go that way. Supposed to be this way. I always keep forgetting about this. How many times has it been? Five times already? <sighs> wow, I really need a break tonight. All right, let's see what we got. We got bread, sushi, probably for tomorrow, uh, leftover water, apple juice, and milk. And dinner, we got tekamaki and Okay, so I managed to go to the lounge and get two of these uh, coffee sticks. I'm going to use them as chopsticks. Uh, normally I thought Widget would have some, but uh, I guess they don't. Um, I'm just going to wash my hands and I'll dig in. Alright, looks like we're going to be heading down. We're going to be heading down to the Little Rave Festival. But first we got to stop by at the... Uh, what's that place called again? Summit. Wow, it's really nice and purple. It's a nice breeze going on. Cool, crisp air. I love the Seattle night. Hmm, so this is what the place is like. Nice to see this place uh, tomorrow. Before heading off to the dance room, I decided to head to the top floor on the arch before 9 and help put down the checker floor one mat at a time along with the others. And just like what the staff said, it was really chaotic. See? Finished! Ugh, you can really smell the new mat smell. Ugh. I really wish I didn't have strong nostrils. 
what you got, I mean, it looks pretty cool. So my human counterpart's opponent is not here today. We're going to be seeing him tomorrow, which means, I mean, we could stick around for a little bit. But considering that there's pretty much nothing to do except go to that little rave dance party, I guess we could just wait until later. So until then, I guess we could smell the rubber. Oh yeah, that stinks. Yep. Later everyone. Later. Bye. 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 No way. They put your mom in the game. What do you mean no? What, you tell me that's not a good joke? Well, it is a good joke. Oh, it's not? You sure? Wasted opportunity. Oh yeah, it's time. Good time. Another thing I learned about going to a late night rave, in my opinion, it's best that you go get some friends. I honestly felt weird just being by myself. I mean, look at the crowd that I managed to take here. The atmosphere, the vibes. I just really want to pull everything out on this stop. But that would just tire me out. Even if I stayed dancing for like an hour or a bit. That really took a lot of stamina outside of me. I think this is a good time to wrap up day one of Soccer Con because uh, day two is going to be a lot more expressive. Mostly because of cosplay chess. Like again, I'm not going to be really doing it. So I human chaperone right over there. So, come on. Let's head back home. Uh, let's head back to the hotel and probably take a shower in the morning. I'm too exhausted. Mm. Mm. Hello everybody, this is day two of SakuraCon. We're just gonna be heading down and going to meet everyone at the cosplay chess. It doesn't start until 10 we only got like 55 minutes we just got we woke up a couple of hours ago took took a shower ate some breakfast and we're about to head on down and uh let's see if we have enough stamina to get on over there i'm pretty sure everyone else is also uh, tired as well from last night so uh, let's go down you know human chaperone um of all the people that I've seen cosplaying, I don't know anyone who else is uh, dressed up as Kimono Friends. I think he might be the only one. Kind of sad, but hey, at least you have some culture. That's, that, I guess, is good. Anyway, let's go hit the arcade. I'm going to play Tekken. I didn't read the notes carefully, but I read the schedule was at 10, but it was really at 10 30 so i was just here waiting with my human chaperone for like 30 minutes or more so i decided to play some arcade games on the same floor as the meeting ah, back to the old stomping grounds no, there was, was a lot of stomping over there a lot of hand padding on okay guess we're heading off <laughs> And my feet are starting to cramp. I'm starting to get blisters on the side of my toes. So, Grapecoon, how do you feel about all this? 
pretty noisy, huh? You're gonna be the star of the show for today. Are you ready? Once again, you still don't talk much. In cosplay chess, normally I would record some of the parts that I like and put them in here. But it turns out there's actually a channel dedicated to record the full footage of the game. Now you're probably asking me, hey, Craig, about that human chaperone, did you manage to get film of them? Well, no. Like I said, there's a channel dedicated to it, so I managed to take that film and, you know. Well, look, here's the parts where my chaperone is in. Please do enjoy. Okay, so what's going on here? I can clearly see that somebody's trying to steal my look. Yes, exactly. You're stealing my thing. Okay, there is the purple, there is the black, and plenty of that. There is the pasty white complexion. No, 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 no. What is this? Get this all away from me. I have concerns. Explain. <laughs> Ever since I met him back in 2017, when I was a guard with him, he just stared at me, and I stared at him back. And then, he just came to me. He came to me in heaven, and this stays in Tori Bar for a long time. We beat Tori Guns together. I can really go with someone that came hungry now. That's really sweet. But, hey, it's going to be my neighbor. After the rehearsal and the live performance that took like two hours, and after taking a long break, it was time to go down to the summit and find some cool things to get. From figurines, clothes, even plushies that kinda sort of feels a little bootlegish. Well, you could tell them that they're not real because the whole, you know, unofficial tags. Oh, 
There is only a couple minutes left that I can do. Let's see if I can do some last minute shopping before I get to six. It is currently 6.18, almost 6.20. A couple minutes ago, the Below Down Summit, which has all these uh, fun little stuff that you can get for merch, they're all gone. So for now, mostly people are just going around, probably heading back to their rooms or going to go get some dinner. I mean, we already ate dinner before we came here because we need to get some stuff to do, do a little souvenir shopping. But let's see what we could do later here. Um, we do plan on going to the dance again. So let's see what we could do. I, I'll, we'll probably go get some photos. Maybe I'll probably get some photos of me. People love getting photos of me. I mean, how can you resist? Look, I got a cute little bow tie. I've been wearing this bow tie for like a year now. Dang, it's been a year. I feel old. Oh, there goes everything. It's uh, all closing up. I'm gonna take a good look of everything down there. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's some stuff that I can get tomorrow, but I don't know how much energy I have. Oh, that thing is sliding very, very slowly. Oh my goodness. So cute. Dear God. So it looks like we're going to a concert. Uh, we just randomly got roped into it. Um, I mean, hey, free concert, right? That's, uh, that, that's pretty cool, I guess. So I uh, guess we're just gonna have a lot of fun. I'm going to lower the audio and filter it with my narration, but later on about 7, I was granted entry to a concert to Spy Air, a band that I've never heard of, but really, that's some really good music. Like, dang, I wish I was their type of good music. But seriously, go and check them out. It is currently past 8 and we just got back from the concert. Uh, me and my human companion, we managed to stand for an hour and we're really thirsty. I gotta say, it was, it was really, really good. I really enjoyed the music. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna find some water to drink. Like, I'm gonna drink like a lot of water, probably two water bottles. I know you're probably thinking, why can't I just use water gun in a cup? Well, the reason I can't drink water from my own mouth is because it's disgusting. That's the same equivalent as spitting into a cup and drinking it. Now do you understand my logic? Good.
Hello everyone, we're going to be signing day two of SakuraCon, and just like last time, we managed to bring in a special guest. I surprisingly managed to find her today, and we decided, hey, why don't we have a little interview? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure you did say that. Not sure why you changed your mind, or but the... Uh... Oh, come on, not again. Nice scrub! Uh, I think I'm gonna be signing day two of SakuraCon. Next time, I'm gonna invite some guys over. Hey everyone, this is Craig for a day three and the final day of Soccer Con. It's, uh, what is it? Almost 8.30 and I'm just having a little late breakfast. I managed to get a Soccer Con exclusive plushie right here based off the mascot. And my bread and apple juice for breakfast. So today's Sunday, which is, um... Okay, today's March 31st, it's the last day of March. Not only today's Easter, but it's also Trans Visibility Awareness. So... I see you over there. Oh yeah. I see you right there. You're not gonna get away from me. Well, maybe tomorrow. Oh, that's right, tomorrow's April 1st. So, uh... Celebrate both Easter and Trans Visibility Awareness Day. My chaperone is going to be wearing a uh, Bridget again. It's been what, Friday? Friday, right? Okay, so yeah, it's a uh, Friday. My chaperone wore Bridget and today is going to be the only day to wear it. I wonder if we can get something really cool today. Well, maybe not, but let's see what we can do. Well, here it is. The last and final day. I think I did a lot of shopping and other things I did. I guess I'll just uh, look around the place one more time. And then I have to head back home. Sunday. It's the last day. So this is usually the time to go get any art, figurines, or whatever before around 3 p.m. Luckily, there were some places with a discount at the time. Despite traveling for three days, I haven't stopped by the outer yard. 11 a.m. I cannot miss it. This is day three of Sakura Khan. We're a couple minutes after 10. And somewhere around 11, we're going to be making some Gumpla models. This is going to be my first time. I heard there's going to be some ex uh, exclusive Gumplas that we're going to be making. So this is going to be pretty cool. Something I could put on my desk. So, I guess we're just going to be looking around for an hour, maybe go upstairs and see what we can find. Alright, let's see what we can make. Alright. Okay, so um, we didn't have enough time to finish everything, so we decided to head back into our hotel and finish everything. Uh, this is the current... move over. This is the current model we have. This is a beginner's easy something that you can do. The sticker is a bit off, but I mean, it's a first for everything. Dang, it's, uh, it's actually pretty good. I do like it. Well, looks like there's a line for closing ceremony, I think. I think we might have to get lined up just in case, but we could visit the artist alley one more time, I guess. Maybe not. I never really bothered to stop by at the artist alley much. Well, hold on. As much as I love the gorgeous illustrations from posters, to little embroidered geek chains, and even their own little plushies, I just prefer having to stick with the more regular things at the convention. I'm not really much of a panel person because you're mostly just sitting there and 
you got these people talking and they're really far away and you gotta have to deal with the speakers yeah it's kind of not up my alley so that's why you don't see me go to a lot of panels And of course, the closing ceremony. And just like the previous ceremonies, we got a banger taiko session and karaoke winners performing. But this year was a little bit different. As you may know, Akira Toriyama, the creator of such classics like Dragon Ball to Dr. Slump, and being the illustrator of Dragon Quest and Chrono Trigger passed away. So there was an AMV dedicated to him and it was made by a finalist here. Fire last night. I want to recreate that moment one last time by singing Samurai Heart. Can I hear a hey, hey, Samurai Heart? A couple of winners slideshow, but one unexpected news was spilled. So I'm going to start the speech off with saying I'm known for short speeches, but this isn't going to be as short as the uh, speech and opening ceremonies because I've already passed that point. <laughs> so who here is 18 years old? Yep. I'm going to put, I'm going to put something to, into perspective for everyone. I was 18 years old, our first soccer con in 1998. This year, I am turning 45. So, that tells you I've been around. Who here is 27 years old? You don't have to answer if you're not comfortable. I'm... Well, congratulations, you are as old as our convention. <laughs> now, to get to a bit of the crux of the matter, this is my final year. Oh, what? So, first of all, I can't bring everyone up on stage. I'd love to, but can I get all the staff who are capable and able to, because we do have people who are unable because they're working and running our show. All the people behind the scenes, too. There's a lot of magic that happens. Yeah, give me just a second. Nate, uh, could you just use your phone and send it to me? Oh, okay, yeah, I know what we're doing here. A bunch of years ago, our former convention chair, Christopher Lauk, took a uh, selfie with the crowd <laughs> from the stage. I'd like to do that as a memory of the convention itself. Uh, so please join us again next year, April 18th, 19th, and 20th, oh. for an even bigger and better SakuraCon. Oh, that's weed day. So, one final time this year, oh. to everyone involved, from directors to attendees, to everyone in between, thank you for joining us, SakuraCon 2024. Well, looks like this is the end, and apparently we did not do the Sakurai Banzai thing. But considering this is uh, that guy, I forgot his name, final final time being here, I guess it would be a little bit too emotional, probably. So, uh, yeah, next SakurCon, April 18th, April 20th. April 20th, we're go I'm gonna make a lot of weed jokes on Sunday. <laughs> Wait a minute, I don't smoke weed. And neither should you. Don't do drugs. It's bad. 
So, uh, I recently met one of the staff over there. We were just uh, walking down, having a little talk. Have a... What was our first soccer con like? Kind of laughed that 2020 and 2021 didn't really had a soccer con because of pandemic stuff. I, I managed to get walk with him all the way to uh, Grand Hyatt. I managed to get a photo and even a hug with him. It was... I never really knew much about the guy, but I... He did a lot. He... He was a really good host. I enjoyed the things, the opening ceremonies, the closing, all of it. I, uh, I really liked it. I, uh, I really like going to soccer con now. This really was a very memorable one. Hey everyone, this is day three ending with uh, Craig Mizutori along with my human co-host. So, about last night, last night we, um, we had an interview with Cure Sky, or Cure Prism, sorry, and um, she wasn't very cooperative. So we're going to try this again, but instead of her, we're going to actually use my human chaperone. Oh, come on. It's just... Look, we're just gonna wrap everything up in one go, then we can have dinner. Alright, so, um... Cure Sky... Uh, Cure Prism... Sorry, sorry again. Um... I heard that you were called Sylveon a couple times, right? Four times? Yeah, it uh, must have been really bad. So, anyways, uh, Cure Sky. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, can't we let bygones be bygones? Nice scrub! Wow! You got all of this stuff? Oh, that is so cool! <laughs> yeah, I managed to get a lot of stuff this year. How much did you use? Well, let's see. For food, merch, travel, roughly around like... More than 400, 500, something like that. Wow, that's a lot! It, uh, it really was a lot. You know, one of these days, I too would like to go to Sakura Con. You know, if you're all down for having a more than just yourself and... You said you had a human chaperone with you? I do, actually. In fact, all thanks to human chaperone, I managed to get things, uh... Done? Ain't that right? I'll, uh... I'll see you in a couple of months. Okay. So, SakuraCon 2024, how was it? I'm gonna have to get right here front center. This year, unlike other previous Craig Goes to SakuraCon vlogs I've done, this was by far generally the most impactful of all my trips so far. Mostly because I was invited to do cosplay chess this year. It was a really big thing that I've always wanted to do, but I never did. I mean, I never really had the mentality or the idea of who to cosplay as, so I just always, like, spectate and just watch and record footages of people in cosplay that I really liked. Now, I do really want to thank everyone to the staff, especially the king, uh, Charlie, who played as Charlie from Has Been Hotel. She played wonderful, she was really great in character. To the lovely contestants, like the... I forgot her name, but 
She dressed up as Venusaur. She had a beautiful dress. You had to be there to see her. And even the little squeaky mushroom yellow darkness character from Kingdom Hearts. Did you know she's been doing this for like several years? Like, I first saw her around like 2018 and uh, never really knew much about her. I just know that she played as uh, the squeaky mushroom character from Kingdom Hearts for over a couple years. Mad respects to you, actually. But more importantly, there are two people I really want to thank. I really want to thank Red, who was supposed to play his Hisoka. He was supposed to be my uh, chaperone's opponent in cosplay chess, but he decided to dress up as Waluigi. And, well, he played a really good Waluigi. I'll tell you that. It was really good. And Yuni, or Yumi, I, I totally forgot your name. I'm sorry about that. You played a wonderful non-verbal Eevee, and then you turned into a Sylveon. And I... Uh, once again, my human chaperone would like to thank you for going into their Discord DMs and planning completely everything out and making things very, very chaotic. <sighs> uh, yeah, I would like to thank the, the two people that were with my chaperone for Cosplay Chess and pretty much everyone who has participated in it. But most importantly, I want to thank Mr. Dinger for letting SoccerCon take place in Seattle for more than 20 years. This year was his last year, and I just really want to thank him from the bottom of my heart because without him, I would have never made Cray Goes to Soccer Con. So, this is for him as well. And to all the people at Cosplay Chess, I hope you all manage to get back home safely. Don't have any convention, depression, or whatever, and I guess I'll see you all next year. Hey, Craig. Uh, I need to ask you a question. Uh, sure, what is it? Didn't you say that you're heading off to soccer con? Um, I came back from it. Oh, okay, I, uh... <laughs> you what?! I came back from soccer con, remember? It always ends on Easter Sunday, which happened to be in March. Like, I know that... Wait a minute, isn't, like... Yeah, um, Easter Sunday is sort of like an April thing, but sometimes they can be in March? Oh, yeah, I, uh, I totally forgot about that. In fact, I think I did told you about, um, I'm gonna be heading off in March. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I always tend to forget. Yeah. Did you at least have fun? Oh, I did have a lot of fun. But check this out, I managed to get two new autographs. And uh, how much did they cost? Uh, plus tax? Yeah, um, no tax. Uh, roughly around like $90. Fair enough, Craig. <laughs>